All right. In this installment of Two Men Who Need a Haircut, we design the pen we made. <laughs> um, so we're going over the technical specs for the, Angelo made up these uh, drawings of the components, and was the pen? Yep. It's kind of weird. We made the pen first, and then we made the drawings. <laughs> Reverse of what I'm used to, but... Yeah, totally. Yeah, so now we're going to find where our tolerance stacks should be. Um, we're going to determine what critical features are key that we have to check for every single part. Right. Um, we're also going to determine what we can check at the beginning and end of our batch, and what we have to check intermittently. Um, from here, essentially, we're going to... I don't know if there's going to be some design changes or... Not really. Yeah, um, just a few, one few design things change there, yeah. uh, but other it's just tolerances. Like when we made the first batch of 35-ish, yeah. um, we had to scrap a bunch of parts because we're like, these just aren't fitting together and I don't know why. But it's, you know, a little bit of tool wear, a little bit of thermal growth, a little bit of... Some of these tolerances have to be silly yeah. tight and tighter than we expected. Yeah. Because the stack is probably like three things put together that yeah, if exactly. they're not... There are at least two things that if they don't... If they're not with inspect, they grow and the tolerance stack yep. just makes it. Yep. So that right now we'll find sort of our risks, um, try to mitigate them. Things like, you know, we find errors in certain areas like this and we've, we know it's our tool chipping. So we're going to put things like that as a key dimension, um, key characteristic. We're also going to look at our tooling and see what alternates we can use. That's good idea. Um, and try and create the most stable process possible so that we can essentially repeatable, make repeatable parts to tolerance consistently, uh, predict our tool wear, predict what issues we might potentially have, um, rather than kind of, you know, going like this and moving forward, right. which I guess a lot of people Well, that's what we do in the first round. Because, yeah. like, I designed it over a few months, but we literally, like, manufactured it and did all the testing yeah. and everything within, like, two weeks. Yeah, we essentially chased, um, yeah. chased the issues because we knew that we wanted to essentially make this pen, uh, pen for blade. Right. We have the design, we have a rough estimate of um, where our tolerance should, tolerances should be, but um, with something this involved, it requires actual sit down yeah, planning. Yeah, upfront engineering, yeah. And, uh, and that's what we plan to do. It's awesome because that's the world that you came from, too. Yeah. I'm a very fly by the seat of my pants kind of guy. Yeah. Um, so the two of us were finally getting some time to sit down and actually go over this, which I'm excited for. Like, it's been probably four months since we made yeah. these originally. Yeah. I know. I, I've been knowing that this process would have to happen, and I'm glad we're doing it finally. Yeah. Yes. Yep. So, I mean, to the customer, it's going to be the exact same pen. But on the manufacturing side, we've got a little bit of process tweaks, actually a lot of process tweaks here and there, polish this, dial in that tolerance, add a chamfer yeah. here because it wasn't, and um, some finishes, even things down exactly. to that, give right. a big effect on the feel of the pen, um, the surface finish on exactly. yeah, that's um, the shaft here. Sure, yeah is very critical and that determines how that feels yeah so we're going to be polishing that so something that's been bugging me is when you just gently slowly click that down you can feel the um uh, what do you call that the, the tool pad line the feel feed forward lines yeah. or the the ra whatever of that surface you can feel every little bump because the ball bearings are balls obviously and they'll yeah. follow every contour and so i'm going to polish that surface nicely smooth on the lathe in one operation, and then it should eliminate that. Yep. Yeah, this should be good. Yeah, this is good. All right. All right. So, Q time lapse. Very important. simpler parts, certainly. A couple little details. The thread tolerance has to be, we're trying to hold a 3B, 3B thread tolerance. Um, we got a plug gauge to measure the threads. Yeah, the, the concerns will be the run out on the groove. Right. So our setup will be important. Um, yeah, because we do this little triple groove right there, one on each side, and then obviously the separation joint in the middle. Yeah, and that, that way it's a nice clean line, so when you're stringing it together, it's, it looks yeah. But let's see it here. 
the grooves kind of fade away depending on the runout of the bar. So if they put the bar in and it kind of goes like this a little bit, then the groove's not going to yeah, be perfect. Because the so. groove is so small, it's a yeah, it's a ten thou um, ten thou radius. Rad, but, but I mean the actual depth yeah. of it, like which can't even, yeah. can't even see it there. The depth is only one thou, I think. Okay, maybe maybe thou. we could increase that because yeah. if it's one thou, then we have to maintain our runout to like tenths. But you want it to be to look like three lines similar. Yeah, so if we go just a little bit deeper, then yeah. we can increase our run out a little bit. Right. But run right out will be definitely very critical on this. Speed. In order in order to achieve that without it terminating. Right. We're essentially running out on this. threading tool come in and start there and do the chamfer and then turn the inside in. Is it turning the minor diameter essentially? Yeah. Or are you doing a pre-cut? I'm doing two steps. Okay. Because our minor would be determined by our thread, right? Which would be our 8879 right, so spec. Whatever is, is listed there, do you have that? Not here, but I'll just grab it from 8879. Okay. in there. Um, we have some ideas to streamline it, maybe using a, a single tool, custom tool. And for now we can we can essentially bore that. Because in this area we need the spring to sit here. We need the tip to go through and not have room to wobble around. So when you're yeah. riding it's not gonna walk on you, um, which is seems like a little detail but it's really important. I could feel it. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah, we tried a couple different hole sizes. Yeah, we're like this is the one. Yeah, and our runout or our concentricity to a our datum a, which is our thread, is also very important because that's essentially how it's all going to fit together. That will stop from binding, um, yeah. and that's also going to affect how that looks to the outside. So if right. if this inside is walking around or if it's out of uh, center, it's going to look really bad. Absolutely. So and as you're drilling a deeper hole, um, you got to be careful when the drill doesn't walk like exactly. deeper and deeper. So it's something we've given ourselves as a tolerance of one thou, I think is pretty good. Um, and that'll allow this hole to be out one thou in any direction. Yeah. because as we're going through all these dimensions you know he'll ask for a call out on that dimension I'm like oh that doesn't matter it's like no it matters like you need a number you gotta put something there yeah even if it never gets measured yeah we need it's, just, it's just different than what I'm thinking and you know sometimes I'll be like oh the machine will just those two will be the same they, they'll go together no you still got to call them out sometimes separately so it's 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 good I'm learning a lot it's good Hey guys, thanks for watching this episode of Saga Saturday. We are having a lot of fun bringing this project back online. Uh, it's been a while and I'm super excited to be making these parts. Past couple days since filming that, 
uh, we've been making some parts. The only real major revision to the pen has been the button retainer. We used to use a threaded attachment, but it would unscrew even with some Loctite. We could probably buy a different Loctite. Um, I just didn't like it that much. So I created this to be a pop fit. Like it'll go in and expand and then stay shut. Uh, so I'm very, very excited about that. The drawings that we did worked super well. So as we're making these parts, it's really nice to be able to see what dimensions are important. And the way this pen works, it's, it's crazy because the dimensions have to be very, very critical. There's, there's like, on this part, there's at least four, if not five dimensions that have to be within spec, otherwise it will not work. And that sucks, but it's fun at the same time. This part here was our threaded adapter into, not adapter, um, this is the button, the clicky, clicky button right there. And this is our new piece on the inside, made from titanium. A little bit burry, but I'm not, I'm not worried about these burrs at all. So yeah, after a bunch of testing and tweaking, originally I designed this with a square shoulders, and I just used a 1 16th square end mill to slot right through it. But Angelo had the genius idea, let's make it a full radius. It'll be stronger, it'll work better. Uh, these two things will basically spring in. So they'll spring in and they'll click into place. We did some testing, it works perfectly. We did a cutaway test where we could actually press it together and look inside and see what's going on. And this was super duper helpful. You can see the groove on the inside, sort of. So yeah. So basically, instead of this guy being a threaded hole, it's gonna have uh, that groove inside, which I started doing. This one? Yeah. Old, new, old, new. Well, there you have it, guys. Thanks for watching. More updates to come. Later, guys. Bye. That looks like a lot of pens to me. This one's for knife parts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's five of these guys. Those are for knives. Everything else is for pens.